Also, quick note, the, the Citrus Bottoms are located in Eastern United States, Western Europe, and in the southern parts of the southern hemisphere. Today, I have a news report with me, and I am going to give you some of the animals that live in this awesome biome. So here we go, let's start off with animals. Let's go. White-tailed deer, raccoons, red foxes, broad-winged hawks, snowy owls, and woodpeckers. Wow. And now let's move on to the plants. Oak. Maple leaf trees, elm trees, aspen trees, birch trees, lichen, moss, ferns, and last but not least, magnolias. That took a little while. All right, now let's give it up to Caviar Weatherman, and he will give you the climate of this biome. Thank you, Cappy. As you can see here, on this weather chart that will appear, it rains a lot here. Precisely 75 to 150 centimeters a year. Can you believe that? And our weather is not much more different. Spanning from negative 22 because of our northern states, getting very low during the winters. And we reach up to 89 because of our southern states, such as Florida, Georgia. Now, I will get back to you guys soon. Let's bring it back to Cabby. Thank you, Cabby. And I'll pass it on to Cabby, who will go in depth with four things in this biome. Crikey, all right, Lee. There are always Pidgeys and Rattatas. Oh, howie there. It's me, Cavi, and I'm here in the great outdoors. I'm more like central Beijing. Hold on. Here we go. Welcome to the deciduous biome here in the southern United States. You can find many amazing animals and plants. Here have the flying squirrel. Flying squirrels are omnivores and eat seeds, nuts, fungi, fruit, and insects. Southern flying squirrels, also known as northern flying squirrels, are native to Canada and even the southern parts of Florida. Flying squirrels are strictly nocturnal, which means they only come out at night, and they usually come out from February to September. Right. As you can see there, there's a wild deer. We don't want we don't want to disturb it. Let's move forward quickly. Started with the white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer is a deer with a reddish tan and a white tail. They often move during dusk and dawn. That's why you find them so much while you're driving home from practice or something. During um the fall season, that's when they come out, because that's when mating season starts. So be careful then. Their main diet consists of leaves, twigs, nuts, grass, and lichen. Man, what a beautiful field of Mongolias. All right, here we have a Mongolia tree. It usually grows here in the southern US. It's Mississippi state flower, surprisingly. It's native to Southeast Asia and North America, and Mongolia trees can grow up to be 60 to 80 feet tall. It's about 30 to 50 feet wide. That is phenomenal. It's a beautiful tree, isn't it? The maple leaf tree. Finally, we have maple leaf trees. Maple leaf trees usually last 300 to 400 years. I mean, in that cold weather in northern USA and Canada, that's surprising. Um, they can usually grow up to 33 to 148 feet, and their leaf span can be from 3 to 5 inches. Now think about that, that's almost as big as your hand. Alright guys, thank you for watching, that was the deciduous biome, but other than that, thank you for watching this video, and yeah, this was for school, thank you to my science teacher for, me, for telling me to make this, anyways, thanks for watching, see ya.